Well, welcome to my new Jaguar I-Pace. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering why did you buy this car? There's probably a lot of questions around charging stations, around range anxiety, price of the car. So I'm gonna answer all those questions in time, but for now, let me give you insights into why I bought this car. To do that, let's take a drive. And that is one of the reasons to buy an EV, is that instantaneous talk. It is incredible. You've got to, you've got to be so careful that you don't, you know, go way over the speed limit and break the law because it's so easy to do that. I mean, more particularly the Jaguar I-Pace is it's the car in South Africa at the moment that's got uh, the longest range and uh, is fit for purpose for me. But simply put, whether it's the Jaguar I-Pace or any other EV for that man, it's just the right thing to do. We've got to get rid of these fossil fuels um, at some point and uh, leaders in South Africa need to begin showing that they are behind a greener future for the country and getting rid of the big coal burning power stations is just the right thing to do full stop you know and the other reason is to set an example that living off the grid is possible the only problem is is that it's expensive and that leads to another conundrum and that is the government needs to work with the private business and try and incentivize um, industries whoa that was close and try and incentivize the switch to renewable energy for the average consumer and the, and the trouble with uh, with solar power at the moment is it's not competing with ESCOM or the municipalities it's competing with cheap generators and if you think about cheap generators it is as bad as a coal burning power station so the competition to switch to renewable energy needs to be incentivized by the government and that's the other reason i bought this ev turning to the ev specifically one of the main reasons besides it being the right thing to do is is simply our market our local market in south africa isn't big enough to sustain the levels of production that we've been seeing in terms of vehicles um, more than 65% of vehicle production in South Africa is exported. And we all know that decisions taken in 2021, 2022, and even 2023 is going to take a decade to bed, to bed in. And if we think about that decade, we're in 2021, that takes us to about 2031. And a lot of European countries have already put the gauntlet down that they're not going to allow any production of new fossil fuel internal combustion engine vehicles anymore, which puts that 65% export at massive amounts of risk. And that's the other reason I bought this EV. So you, you might ask, well, you know, how do we incentivize the switch? Call this another digital transformation, if you will. And firstly, it's important to incentivize OEMs um, to retool the plants of South Africa and to start manufacturing EVs in the country. The second thing that needs to happen is we need to reduce import taxes. Not only ad valorem tax, but import taxes. At the moment, to import an EV is 25% versus an internal combustion engine vehicle at 18%. And then thirdly, home renew called home renewable energy switch is important to the long-term future of electric vehicles because given the, the country's power woes and the load shedding, and the grid infrastructure, the EV transition needs to be supplemented with renewable energy in the home. Just like we needed fiber to the home, and uh, uh, as a country we were late to the party, we had to rely on 3G and then 4G before fiber to the home really became a thing. And look, most of us now sit with fiber in our homes. Most of us need to switch to renewable energy in our homes as well because it speaks to the whole EV transition. So I've personally bought this EV to try and show the industry and South Africans that it is possible right now to live with an EV. There's just some challenges in terms of cost and our grid but it's still possible. And driving this car is absolutely fantastic. I don't think I'll ever go back. So see you on my travels and my journey in driving this I-Pace.